What's up? Hey, what's going on everyone? Good morning. We are in my bedroom. Uh, today's video is going to be about Fuli's diet and I'm going to take you guys into the kitchen in a little bit, but first I need to get prepared for the day, get myself organized and yeah. Uh, just as a side note, if you guys did not know, there is a My Possum Frenchie group. The link's down in the description. Share your pictures, um, ask questions, network with other people in the group. Um, that's what it's there for. All right, so give me a second while I go get myself prepared. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Last week we did a video about, well, I did a video, you guys watched, and we talked about uh, raw food for dogs and what I thought about it, why it was beneficial, and why I feed fully raw food. Uh, the feedback that I got from that video was very positive. A lot of you guys um, gave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. You guys commented and you guys want to see a video of what goes into Fuli's bowl and a feeding. So that's what today's video was about. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Um, if you haven't seen last week's video, then you should stop this one. Go watch that one. I'll put a link right up here for you guys to check that out. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you are and you hit that notification bell so you get notified of the next video. So, let's get right into it. Fuli gets three different kinds of protein. He gets beef, and then we've got some lamb here that's already thawed out, and he gets salmon. He gets fish. So, I rotate proteins every couple of days. So, he'll go two days on beef, two days on lamb, and then two days on salmon. And then we start that circle all, all over again. Now, I know many of you guys want to be doing raw, or you guys are researching it, or you guys might be intimidated by it. And um, I know there's a lot of information out there. You know, it could be very overwhelming and intimidating because dogs have um, a specific requirement when feeding raw food. So these companies that I use, Big Country Raw and Mega Dog Raw are the primary ones that I use. Which, by the way, this video is not sponsored by either brand, but Big Country, Mega Dog. If you guys are out there and you guys are watching this video, then please hit me up because I would love to work with you guys. These guys have made it very, very easy for the general pet owner, the consumer, to be able to feed their dog raw. Now, what does the raw food consist of, the raw meat? Well, it's got 80% meat, 10% bone, and 10% organs, and 5% of those organs come from liver. So it saves you time because you don't need to be like weighing out all the food and making sure that the ratios are properly. These guys have done it all for you. Now, what these foods don't come with are supplements. and. You can get complete dinners that have all that stuff in it, but the ones that I'm using today um, do not have any supplements. I choose to put my own supplements in for my dog, and I'm gonna show you guys that. It's very simple, guys. Um, once I pick it up, it's already frozen. I throw it into the freezer, and then I take it out and thaw it out when I'm ready to use it. What I don't end up using, I put into a container and it goes back into the fridge. If you are not going to be using it, it should be frozen and should not be thawed out until it is used. So, and once it's thawed out, do not refreeze it. It's not good. Make sure the dog eats it. I would not keep it in the fridge for more than a day. So that covers the food and we're going to jump into the supplements. All right guys, quick little reminder because our friends over at YouTube wants us to disclose this and that is I'm not a vet and I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just a guy that loves his dog that's done some research on the supplements that I put into his food. So I'm gonna share some of those supplements with you guys and why I've decided to put it into his meals. So let's not waste any time and let's just jump right into it. All right, so this first product that I have here, it's by a company called 
omega alpha and it's a probiotic why do you want to use it well it's probiotic all jokes aside though it is a great product it is a great supplement and the reason you want to be putting it into your dog's diet is for several reasons one it's a good bacteria that you're going to be pushing into your dog's um, system it's healthy it's good for their GI tracts, it boosts their immune system, and it really helps combat some of the bad bacteria out there like Salmonella and E. coli. You know, when your dogs are, you know, outside, some of you might be taking your dogs for a walk or just letting them out in the back in the backyard. And, you know, we don't always have eyes on them. And, you know, they could be smelling another dog's bud or you know, smelling another dog's poop or, you know, pull that they might have peed on. And they, they're they gonna be collecting, uh, you know, bacteria and we wanna protect them from all these nasty things of getting into their system and making them sick. It's gonna cause you a headache and they're not gonna feel good. And at the end of the day, we want our dogs to be healthy and um, feeling good. Not only is it gonna protect them from, uh, you know all the bad bacteria that's out there but it's going to also help with um their nutrient absorption absorption Ooh, that was a hard one to say nutrient absorb I, it's going to help them absorb more nutrients there we are this is a really great product i highly recommend it i put it into Fuli's bowl and he loves it he loves his food so yeah Get yourself some probiotics. Now this next product that I have in my hand, it's by a company called IntegraCare and it's Triacta. And what this is, it's basically glucosamine for your dog. And now you're probably wondering, Pete, why do I need glucosamine for my dog? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Glucosamine is really good for our hips and our joints. Now, just like you and I, like humans, as we get older, we start to get stiff in our hips, our back, our joints start to ache and all that stuff. Same thing happens with dogs. As they get older, they start to get stiff. This product is gonna help lubricate their hips and their joints and keep them healthy. All right, let's talk essential fatty acids for a moment. Omega-3s, by far one of the best supplements out there that you could be giving your dog. Not only is it good for your dog, but it's good for you guys as well. It's gonna help boost its immune system. It's gonna fight as an anti-inflammatory. Not to mention, it's good for the overall health of the skin and your dog's coat. This is the stuff that's gonna get you to that nice, gorgeous, shiny coat that we all been fantasizing about. So because of that, I do recommend it. Um, however, there is a downfall to it. Your dog's breath is gonna stink really bad, and I am not kidding when I say that. It's gonna just smell like a fishing dock, like bad. Your face is probably gonna melt off. You're gonna have trouble breathing okay I'm just kidding it's not gonna be that bad but it, their breath does stink a little bit after so um, you know that's the only downfall with the supplement but I mean for what we're getting out of it I think I could tolerate bad breath for an hour all right coconut oil this stuff is amazing it's really popular it's got a lot of hype and rightfully so because it has so many benefits to it um, like some of the other supplements it does help boost its immune system it's good for their overall health this does help with dry skin you could use it as a moisturizer you could use it as a conditioner and one of the best things that i love about this is that when i do give it to fully it really helps counter battle that stanky breath that we get from the omega-3s it's just one of those miracle um, supplements um, i just absolutely love it so if you guys aren't using it my recommendation is do use it your pets will love you for it um it's totally safe for them to have i use about a teaspoon of it maybe a little bit more uh into his food and um yeah it's uh it's great so i think i'm gonna go feed fully now because he's waiting for me very patiently and i'm gonna go over some of the stuff that i actually put into his food so we're gonna do that right now And I start off with some sweet potato and some broccoli, six ounces of meat, 
and a dash of probiotic, some coconut oil. Oh yeah, and his omega-3s. And I just mix it around. For this recipe, I didn't have any glucosamine just because I ran out, but you just wanna mix it around. So it looks something like this, and then I just toss it some more, and then I go feed it to him. Now over here, I make him wait and sit a little bit longer just because I'm testing him and I won't let him go get the food until I say it's okay. Hey. Go get it. <laughs> 